Alright guys, so today's video is going to be repairing this 42 inch Insignia 4K TV. So I originally got this from a friend of mine. He said that one day it just stopped powering on and he knows I like to fix things so he brought it to me. Doing a quick flashlight test uh, revealed to me that this was just a backlight issue. So I pulled it apart and I discovered that there were um, I think three LED chips, two or three um, LEDs that had to be replaced. So I had some individual LEDs on hand from prior repairs. And so I just soldered them in and got it going. After I'd been using it for probably about two months, I started noticing at the top, one of the strips that I repaired had already gone out. Um, thankfully, since all of these strips are wired in parallel, the rest of the strips kept working. And with the amount of fill light that was coming from the other strips, it didn't really hinder performance at all. Today, I noticed that I've just got one strip left working. Um, so you can see the camera actually makes it look a lot brighter than it actually is but from here up is really dark in person and from here down, it's pretty dark in person. So it's almost unusable at this point. Uh, thankfully, when the first strip went out after it had been put back into use, I ordered a complete set of replacement strips. So I'm gonna get this thing torn down and get these LED strips replaced. This process is pretty straightforward. You'll just have to remove the screws around the back. Probably need to take the screws out of the standoff um, you know, every TV is going to be a little bit different. I've had this one apart, although it's been long enough that I don't really remember the specifics. The front bezel that holds the screen in, um, sometimes there's clips that hold in along the sides. Sometimes it's just screws. Um, some TVs, it's possible to just take all these screws out. Uh, you pull the back plate off and then take some screws out that hold that front bezel on. And then you can just lift the entire back backlight assembly out and leave the fragile glass LCD screen laying flat on a table. That's the best way to do it, if possible. Um, some TVs you actually have to flip over, pull the bezel off the front, lift the uh, LCD panel out. Um, it, depending on how big it is, you may want to get some suction cups for both sides. Because um, if, you, if you crack, even if you just crack a little corner of the LCD screen, it's shot, toast, done. And it's usually cheaper to buy a brand new TV than it is to get a replacement LCD, if you can even find a replacement. So before I start opening this up, um, here is my new LED strips. Um, looking at the shipping label, this was shipped in June of 2020. So I've had these for a while, but I knew that my repair wasn't gonna last long. Um, I knew it at some point, they were gonna to need to be replaced. So these came from shopjimmy.com, uh, no affiliation, um, but they've got really good um, kind of parts listings. You can search by make and model number. Um, and they, you know, they have different tips as far as picking the right part. So before I open the TV up, I'm just gonna make sure that these look good. So this is kind of interesting. Um, these appear to be remanufactured strips. I was not aware that's what I was buying. Um, hopefully they're remanufactured and they weren't just repackaged and sent out to me. Um, they do have the SJ stamp on them for Shop Jimmy. So, and they still have a lot of adhesive residue on them. So it kind of stinks because I waited so long to open these. Hopefully these have been remanufactured. I don't have a tester that I can put on these beforehand. So I'm gonna have to open my TV and I guess just try them out. Um, I'm well beyond the uh, return period. So hopefully Shop Jimmy didn't ship out some bad LED strips. <laughs> I was just talking them up, but uh, this is what they look like. So we've got a total of five strips and all the connectors on, are on this end. And this TV, unlike many others, these LED strips are wired in parallel. So you've got an individual power wire that comes into each strip. Um, every other TV that I've replaced backlight strips on, you got power that comes in this side and then it will loop into this side and then and so it's all the way down. So if this LED fails, that means none of the rest of them work. So I'm gonna set these off to the side. 
and we'll get to disassembling. Here we go, we can see the, the strips. Um, obviously it's got the white plastic sheet over to help spread the light out, but I'm gonna set this off to the side and see if I can maybe move this LCD panel so it doesn't get damaged. So let's try it. So just the one strip that was still working, um, the rest of them, at least one LED in that strip has gone out. So um, also something to remember is these little um, plastic deals, they just clip in from the backside. You just need to squeeze them from the backside with a pair of pliers or sometimes just your fingers and they'll pop right out. Uh, but these are just spacers to keep the diffuser sheet separated and to keep it from sagging into the... You want to make sure you don't tear this stuff because it really does help spread the light out. We'll power it on. Let's get it back together. So that's it for this one, guys. Um, pretty quick, simple process. Um, pay attention if you're buying new LED strips, pay attention to whether they indicate whether they're refurbished or remanufactured strips, or if they're brand new strips. Um, I'm kind of wondering about the life expectancy of these strips, seeing that they were used strips, um, not knowing if Shop Jimmy replaces every single LED on, the, on each strip. Um, also, removing the old strips from this, because they were uh, double side taped down across the entire length of the strip, I did have to pry them off with a um, putty knife and doing that caused them to flex enough that a lot of the lenses popped off. So I think those lenses are just kind of heat bonded to the strip itself. That lens helps it spread the light. So, you know, hopefully Shop Jimmy is, is remanufacturing them and it's a good strip. Ideally, I'd like to see all of the old glue residue cleaned off and some fresh um, double-sided tape applied to the back, just so it feels like you're getting a new product. But we'll see how long it holds up. Um, if anything changes or, you know, I'll, I'll post down in the description if these strips happen to go out. That's it, I guess. Uh, if you like what I do, make sure to give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And until next time, see you later.